Hello, welcome to Getaway and welcome to Portugal. If like me, you've never been to this sun-drenched slice of paradise, then we can discover it together. If you're lucky enough that you've already been, then you'll want to revisit its terraced vineyards, gorgeous gardens, impressive palaces, and the lovely locals. Either way, it's a win-win. As the Portuguese say, esta pronto? Of course, we're ready for this. Porto is Portugal's second largest city after Lisbon. And it's the starting point for our 11 day cruise along the Douro River with Scenic. For the sweet tooths among us, there is one mandatory first stop upon arriving in Portugal, pastiche de nata, or as we know them, Portuguese tarts. This is a typical Portuguese breakfast, an espresso, the Portuguese tart, and the final touch, a little flourish of cinnamon. Mm. Oh, I'm so glad I got two. Porto's old town area revolves around the magnificent Douro, which has long been the lifeblood of this port city. These boats, called Rebellos, were used to carry port from the Douro Valley to right here in Porto. These days, they carry tourists and can deliver us to the other side of the river to discover Porto from another perspective. It's so interesting seeing a new city from above because you realise how big it is, or in Porto's case, how compact it is. With Scenic, you'll discover all of Porto's prettiest sites, as well as having free time to discover a few of your own. Every day, there are scenic free choice tours to choose from. I've opted to explore the nearby region of Aruca and its landmark suspension bridge. Pedro, I like your office. Yes, but for clearly sure. you have no fear of heights. Yes, that was one of the requirements <laughs> when I <laughs> applied for this job. I How high leave. up will we be? So when we reach the middle of the bridge, that's when we reach the highest point. Where you have the Piper River under your feet, there will be 175 meters, like a 50-story building. On completion in 2021, this was the world's largest suspension bridge. And while the title has already been overtaken, it can certainly lay claim to being one of the most significant structures in the country. It's amazing that you've got this bridge because then it brings people to this area to learn more about it and appreciate it. Yes, that was one of the goals from the municipality when we build and to give people the opportunity to have another perspective and another experience I've decided that if I just focus on you, then I'm not going to panic. Okay. <laughs> I'll just That's keep watching thing. you. That's a good thing. <laughs> the entire region of Aruca is classified as a UNESCO Global Geopark. We have 41 geosites, and these geosites, each one we can learn about the history of the herd. It's almost like you've got the best of man-made structures with the best of nature coming together. Yes, yes, it's true. To enjoy this landscape. Also learn how the river, the wind, the rain can uh, sculpt all the valley, but also the man uh, can uh, do big things. I find it really unusual that you have goats in such a pristine area. Why are they yes, here? Yes, they are very important uh, because we have an area with big slopes, so they help in the management of the bushes, the herbs that we have here. So they're kind of good for fire management. Yes, it's very. They are very, very important. We can pass. Coming through. <laughs> we can through. <laughs> Don't mind us. All good. <laughs> he couldn't get us, could he? No. <laughs> The walkways were designed to immerse visitors in this spectacular natural landscape. So how long are these walkways? These wooden walkways, eight kilometres. Eight kilometres of yep. walkways? Yes. We are going to get our steps up today, my friend. So we have uh, 
two hours. Two hours? <laughs> you walk slowly. No, 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 we're doing this in 45 minutes. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> From Porto, scenic Azua sets sail on the Douro River, which roughly translates to River of Gold. And on a day like this, it really lives up to its name.